Uh, hi, in this video, we will talk about how to handle date picker or calendar. Okay, how to handle date picker or calendar in Playwright. Okay, so for that, I created handling date picker or calendar test class. And here I created one test, test ng test method called handle date picker. Okay, so date picker means, so these kind of things in your application. So if you want to select any date, you'll find this kind of calendar and you can select what date, you know, what year, what month you want. You can select something like this. And there are two number of, sorry, uh, two different types of uh, date pickers are available. So one is you can directly type. So 0308, something like this. Okay. So here you can directly type whatever you want. But some date pickers, you cannot type something like this. You have to have to select from this calendar only. Whatever you want, you need to select from here only. Something like this. You cannot type. You see? You need to select from here only, but you cannot type. But in this case, what happens if I want to go to 1980, something like this, 1990? So we need to write so much of logic for this. But here we can directly type whatever you want. Okay. But here that is not possible. In this case, we need to write so much of logic. First we need to find the year and then month, then date, then select. So instead of doing all those things, how easily we can handle using playwright in this kind of disabled date picker also. Okay. This is enabled. This is disabled means for typing. Okay. So first we'll see this one and then see, we will see this one. Okay. So for that, first let me create a page instance. Playwright.weird.chromium.launch options new browser type launch options dot set headless false dot new page so i created a page instance and then page dot navigate so i'll navigate to this url demo dot automation testing dot in slash date picker dot html so i'll copy paste that here once I go there, I said thread dot sleep for at least three seconds to see the execution properly. So after that, so this is, let me inspect this. You see this input type equal to text. So if it is input type equal to text, we can directly use type or fill method. Right. We can use type or fill method. So for that, page dot locator the locator is we have id date picker to dot you can use fill or you can use type whatever you want okay so 11 29 some 2021 some random date okay and then thread dot sleep of five seconds to see the execution whether the date is selected or not okay and then page dot close that's it so let me execute this so this is very simple in a text box how we can type something the same way if it is enabled date picker then it is very easy to use the same type or fill methods and you can directly type something in that select the date you see that it is selecting, but after this, still it is open. You see that after selecting something, it is still open. So if you do not want to do that, so you can use keyboard actions in the play rate page dot keyboard dot. So press, you need to mention enter 
So it is simulating. Sorry. Enter key in keyboard. Okay. So let me rerun this. This is very simple. If input type equal to text, it's very simple to handle this kind of calendar or date picker. So observe carefully. So we made a mistake. So let me put this after this. Okay. So let me rerun this. Otherwise, it will be very fast. So it will click enter and close the page. So because of that, we'll put before the thread dot slip. Then after clicking enter or pressing enter, we can wait for some time and then close the browser or page, whatever you call. You see that it's very fast, even it is not even showing the that you know kind of drop down when you click on this this calendar, right? Even it is not showing the calendar. Okay. So this is very simple. How this is handle enable date picker. Right. So then what about disabled public wide? Handle disabled so date picker. So now in Selenium, normally we'll compare with no Selenium, right? So in Selenium, we will use JavaScript executor to handle these kind of things. Okay. But in Playwright, is there any similar kind of function or class or interface available. So JavaScript executor is an interface in Selenium. So the same way you have any alternate in Playwright. Yes, we have an alternate. Okay. So that is you know, helpful when you handle disabled kind of things. So let me create page instance again here also. new page. So page dot navigate, all these things are very similar to this. The same website. So interrupted exception. And then now first I need to find this locator. Okay. So let me this is date picker one. So I'll do the same thing. And we'll see what is the behavior. I'll use the same fill method. And we'll observe the behavior first. And then we'll see the alternate how you can handle this very simply. Simplest way to handle this. So it is by default, it is waiting for some time. And then we'll observe what kind of exception or you know, error we will get. So let it complete actually, it will take some time. So it failed. And we'll observe that 
टाइम आउट एरर डिफॉल्ट इज थर्टी थाउजेंड मिली सेकेंड थर्टी सेकेंड्स एंड इट इज सेंग वेटिंग फॉर दिस लोकेटर वेटिंग फॉर लोकेटर इज विजिबल एनेबल एंड एडिटेबल एलिमेंट इज नॉट एडिटेबल सो इट इज नॉट एनेबल टू एडिट सो बिकॉज ऑफ दैट इट फेल्ड ओके सो दिस इज द एर यू विल गिट प्ले रेट दट टाइम आउट एर सो नाउ हाउ इजीली वी कैन हैंडल दिस ओके सो इंस्टेड ऑफ दिस लाइन ओके पेज डॉट यू हैव वन ऑफ द मेथड्स कॉल्ड इवेल्यूएट ओके वन ऑफ द मेथड्स इनसाइड दिस पेज इंटरफेस इज इवेल्यूएट so inside this you can write your javascript what is that document dot get element by id so what is that id so date picker 1 okay so what that the date picker 1 dot value is equals to uh, let me take the same date so that's it instead of page dot locator and fill we need to write page dot evaluate so this evaluate is very similar to javascript executor in selenium so there you can create an instance of javascript executor so js js dot execute script and inside the execute script method you will write the same thing so we are here also we are doing the same thing but here method is directly we can use page dot evaluate so let me rerun and see whether this time it is working fine or not observe carefully after 3 seconds you see that it is showing the date right inside this after 5 seconds it will close that simple it is okay so this is how you can handle disable date picker or calendar so we can get one doubt so if the id is not available right if you have get element by id we have id for this but sometimes there is no rule that we need to have a id for an element it depends upon the html how they developed so let's assume there is no id okay so that time what we need to do we can use what is that css selector so for that document dot You need to mention query selector. So inside this, so we need, we have ID. So for that, I'll create a CSS. I'll put a hash. Then it will become CSS, and then dot value everything is same. Okay. So date picker. Okay, instead of get element by ID and providing the ID, I converted that into CSS selector, and then instead of get element by ID, you need to mention query selector. This is very, this is the same in the JavaScript executor in Selenium also. Okay, so let me try again this one. This way also it is working fine or not? We will see. you observe carefully after 3 seconds it will you see that 11 2029 after 5 seconds it will close so that's it so this is how you can handle the calendar or date picker in playwright using if it is enabled we can directly use fill method or type method if it is disabled 
we can use evaluate method and inside the evaluate you need to write javascript your javascript logic so in selenium we will write the same thing in the ja execute query method of javascript executor here directly you have evaluate method okay so this is all about handling date picker or calendar in playrate so that's all in this video thank you for watching this video please like the video and share the video and now put your thoughts in the comment section and do not forget to subscribe to the channel for interesting updates thank you